hand clap to the master you guys we are finally back we finally made it to another one brothers and sisters huh? another one on the one and only mr licks reaction guys big up on yourself for definitely tuning into these vibrations i won't be dropping another reaction on the br bptv youtube platform i think i'll be dropping one tomorrow but of course guys big up on yourself for definitely tuning into these vibrations and of course guys don't forget to do what brothers and sisters <laughs> hit that like button brothers and sisters click that thumbs up button i would appreciate that right there and then of course if you don't know Oh, well, definitely do something, brothers and sisters. Subscribe! <laughs> of course, we are definitely on the elevation, brothers and sisters, to help this YouTube channel, of course, to grow in that regard. So definitely subscribe, brothers and sisters. And without a further ado, <laughs> let's get into the vibrations for today. Right in. Now, brothers and sisters, as you can clearly see, there's something on the screen. And you can see Wednesday, brothers and sisters, at 10 a.m., of course, concerning the whole situation involving in Calibish, the other day, brothers and sisters. They are about to do an emergency meeting. Of course, uh, the Kalin, uh, I mean Kalin, the Kalibishi village, people are standing for justice. It seems like they are unified in that effort. And of course, I was I was hearing that there will be the prime minister visiting this area. I also heard a Sipsio saying that the prime minister is going there in Kalibishi today to try to get people to not, you know, be in an opera about it. I don't know if that is the case, but I heard that. But of course, on Wednesday at 10 a.m., of course, there will be a meeting with the prime minister. Of course, finally. The Prime Minister is about to show up. When the Prime Minister realized that the people are serious, they have been constantly bombarding the people and completely neglecting what the people have to see right there. Hopefully, the people of Kalibishi do keep a firm grip, a firm grip on what they stated. Hey, not on our party, you can't so wrong. Not dead, not today, not tomorrow, never happen. Stop your everlasting dirty ways. Of course, brothers and sisters, so I have to definitely get this out. Of course, it will be on the Kalibishi school grounds, I'm guessing, where the pack is <laughs> the kalibishi school grounds right there of course come share your views in a peaceful manner the people have been trying their best to share the views in a peaceful manner but it's just that it has been neglected from time over time and time again and then most likely time to come as well brothers and sisters so the people of kalibishi have to keep their foot down and say hey we do not want to get an interference in our pack no stop it stop it now brothers and sisters somebody actually made an an, an a, a statement to me say mr Lipsa, why they need to put the, the equipment and stuff somewhere well it seems like there's space at the back they could clear this down and put the stuff at the back and then have the people run the cali um, um, um their park for without any hindrances so i think that is a, a thing that they can actually do because they made a road at the back if they can make a road at the back they can make a place for them to put the equipment at the back don't you think so they actually made a whole well not really a whole village for them but they make houses for themselves so I think they can clear an area at the back and definitely, you know, put the stuff there so the people can be free to have the access to the parks. Of course, I think that is the case right there. Anyways, brothers and sisters, moving along in that regard right there. Of course, I'll be getting back to that situation involving the whole thing. But of course, this was brought to my attention, brothers and sisters. And of course, it seems like Skerritt has decided to become a painter. You know, <laughs> Prime Minister Ship not working out, so he's becoming a painter in that regard. But it's really interesting that we've seen right there. You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. That will make everybody foolish. So you will have some fools being fooled all the time. And the other time, some will be foolish at one point in time. And then wake up. It seems like that is what is happening in Kalibishi. Hopefully, they are fully a reason from their slumber brothers and sisters. A reason, indeed. <laughs> well, I guess it seems you can fool some labor rights all the time. Yes, you can definitely seem so. No, brothers and sisters, I remember this. Uh, video. I saw a video of this when scary and a number of individuals were going out there and um, what it appears to be they're painting some empty houses and they're trying to make it seem like they're doing something but they're not really doing anything at all brothers and sisters they're just going out there to paint houses to make it look like they're doing something and it's rather interesting that I'm seeing the Prime Minister go out there to try to say hey guys we are doing something when he should actually try his best to do something and he's not doing it and of course this is one of the reasons why I, brought, I was brought this thing right there the DLP solution to fix the Hampstead bridge and so many other bridges is painting because apparently the prime minister is not doing absolutely nothing about this bridge right there and every time it rains brothers and sisters it absolutely floods and of course a number of persons get to reach home very late they are doing absolutely nothing about this bridge that collapsed they should kind of do a little something they organize the thing for the thing to you know for the people to you know but apparently that is not the case they don't seem to care at all and every time it rains brothers and sisters it pours and it over it um definitely floods over the bridge this is actually a minute amount of water but when you see it rains brothers and sisters nobody can cross it 
Nobody at all can cross it. Not the boss, not the plane, nothing, brothers and sisters. Well, it may be plane can cross it, but you get the point, right, brothers and sisters. But of course, what is the solution? And I see him, brothers, carry doing some painting. And I'm saying, but wait a while, you're doing painting, but what about what you're supposed to be doing for the country, elevating the country, standing, and all of that, all of that stuff? But apparently, this carry doesn't want to do that. He wants to go and paint. <laughs> he wants to go and paint. I don't, I don't understand what, and, and he's proud to go out there and start painting. Don't get me wrong, you know, brothers and sisters. It's nice that you go out there and do a little painting. But what you should actually be doing, you're not doing. The country needs jobs. The, the people need jobs. Sorry about that, guys. The economy needs to be revamped. Everything needs to be elevated and going, brothers and sisters. And that is the best thing you decide to do. <laughs> All, right. All right, then. Well, I guess, you know, that's what the people want. And, of course, you see a number of folks. Maybe they paid these folks. Maybe they paid, they paid these folks to come and do this stuff because I, 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 God forbid that they come and do this thing for free. <laughs> when the Prime Minister already pimping the people them and taking the monies and what have you. Hey, who knows what he's doing with it, brothers and sisters. But of course, let us go back to the situation right there for which, oh yes, all right, yes. That is definitely something. That's pretty much the sentiment that I've been talking about, brothers and sisters. So instead of, instead of scary trying to help the economy, He's going out there and do what? Paint. He's painting. And then the country going down and they come in and tell people, hey, everything is fine and dandy. Everything is wonderful. And the economy is doing wonderful. Telling the people stupidness. And the people, of course, well, not all. Of course, like it indicated right there. You can fool some people sometimes. Not everybody all the time. But apparently, labor rights getting fooled all the time. And they're happy with the foolishness. I was speaking to an individual today, brothers and sisters. And I was talking to him on the basis of things that are happening in the economy. And all the individual can tell me, he tell me not labor right, he not workers right, he not in the middle. So I tell him, how can you be in the middle? What is the pros and cons of scary? You want to side, okay, you see in the middle. So obviously you have to see both sides, right? Both sides of the spectrum. There must be a pro you see in both sides and a con in both sides. Or pros and cons since you see you're in the middle, right? He, he, he tell, he cannot tell me nothing. Well, he tell me a few things about scary and I say, that's cause and effect. The government created the quiver the economy and creating jobs not jobs creating um unemployment and thus have the people stay in houses that they created that is owned by the state according to what character say it has stated right there on the other side they tell him what what can you say positive on the lux he cannot tell me nothing so i indicated in lennox was, wasn't us the one that exposed the situation that happened with dominica when it comes down to the monies and then tony asked the fans had to come and say hey we have monies outside there and blah 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 and this kind of things there wasn't that the case? Uh, so you say you say you in the middle and you cannot give pros and really, really. So, anyways, we had a whole set of discussion. I realized, but bro, what you say in there? Most of the things that I ask you, you don't know, and there are evidence of which I have stated for you. You tell me you want to see it on paper and all those kind of things. I tell you, God, just go and do research. You will see for yourself. Tourism, agriculture, everything seems to be going down. I think I'm taking this, this, this um, reaction a bit too seriously. <laughs> but anyways, brothers and sisters, you get my point right there. He doesn't know a lot. And he has absolutely, I told him, name one thing that he can give that has actually elevated Dominica. You cannot give the construction because that has been handled by foreigners. Tourism is on the down. Agriculture is on the down. Education, he mentioned education. I say, you serious? Who? Joe Neal, yeah? <laughs> Not they're trying to seek help from Grenada. Anyways. So education is not there at all. It's when people go overseas that things starting to elevate for people. And as a result, I pretty much had to show this to other individuals as well because they think Dominica is a set of low IQ individuals. I've, I've heard this a number of times, brothers and sisters, until they met me and say, Mr. Lix, you're different. Ah, of course I'm different. I see things for what it is, brothers and sisters. And when people want to pretend, oh, what I said is not true. They say for themselves, you know, it's of objective reality. And they completely neglected it. Just like my fellow individual that I spoke to today. He tell me he doesn't know. He doesn't know nothing. But he doesn't know a number of questions I ask him. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? So I tell him, oh, that's what you say. So I tell him on the basis of what you don't know. You're making judgments and conclusions on what you don't know to support a team that you have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> that makes no sense to me, brothers and sisters. So when he's coming there and to paint and stuff and completely neglecting what he should be doing, it's very clear. This has been there for donkeys, brothers and sisters, for I think over 10 or 15 years. This has been like this. Uh, Erica, Maria, er, after Erica, I think this fell. So that's about what? Oh, not 10, over 10 years. Nine years, brothers and sisters, this has been like this right there. And of course, you know, 
they have done nothing to just destroy the economy right there. Brothers and sisters, this is not only on the up, up and up, you know. This is not only up and up. I've been talking about the jet to debt to GDP ratio, which went to 106. 106 percent debt to GDP ratio. It was 83 before, I think it was 76 before. So it seems like it was climbing. I don't know where it is right now. I need to go and get my statistics in that regard. But that was the latest one that we saw. I think it was in to, up to 2023. So what 2024 will finish it. So we don't know about that one, right, brothers and sisters. All these things he doesn't know. He has no clue about it. But he wants to support something that himself doesn't know. And I tell him that is the liberal rights mentality. The liberal rights mentality have the basis of feelings, not on logic. Not an observation, not an objective reality, but how they feel. That's it. Because most of the questions that you'll ask them, they will know. Which is rather interesting right there. So this is why this is also vital. Hopefully the people of Kalibishi definitely don't bend or break, brothers and sisters. They don't bend or break. Of course, God, the whole concern of this, there was a particular situation that stood out. <laughs> involving these individuals right there, brothers and sisters. And of course, it seemed, it seemed like he was caught, caught in eyes. <laughs> you know, any caught in eyes. <laughs> I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> I don't even know how to cut. That's crazy. <laughs> right there. But that, that part in the black shit, he was caught in eyes. But there was something rather interesting that they noticed on them. And of course, their shoes became a huge agenda in that regard, brothers and sisters. Now, I don't know if these shoes are shoes that was used to walk on the road to Damascus, but... These shoes look like they were melting, brothers and sisters, especially the Wadna right there. And the individuals were saying, but Mr. Lix, you sure that is those individuals right there? You sure? You sure? In order for, we don't want... <laughs> I suspect you realize the person filmed me in his shoes. <laughs> Kada, you take your anti-working shoes and you come out and, and, and try to... Boy, oh, you something else, boy. Boy, bring back your anti work shoes for her, boy. The lady probably need to go and work the, the economy hard already, and you're taking your anti shoes to come out and try to play militant, huh? And then you caught why in fellas with your, your eyes. But I something else, boy. Oh, you will kill me today. Yes, sir. That rat that play shit at. That rat do a good job, we boy. That rat that do a good job. But the normal person will say, Mr. Lex, that cannot be the same. That cannot be the police. It's impossible. So I decided to go and do a little research, brothers and sisters. And I went to the video where you could see the man in full clothes. So that is the one in blue. That is the one in blue. And then the other one. Look him, look him over there. There's a bigger level of disrespect that the Prime Minister has promised to Let's go ahead. Let's, let's move ahead, brothers and sisters. So I saw him when he was coming, okay, brothers and sisters. And we want to see if that is the shoe, the shoe itself. Ah, uh, not labor rights slogan, not a shoe, nah. Well, uncle, you work it with papa. That is Katoa virus. So that is definitely the shoes, brothers and sisters, with the little design. With the little design on top of it, brothers and sisters. And uncle, uncle came to unblock the road right there. Maybe the fire, maybe the fire that catch the shoes and burn the shoes. Maybe, maybe the fire. <laughs> maybe it's the fire that like the shoes. No wonder. That's why you don't know when you do this thing. You have to go be protective gears. You taking your grandmother's shoes. <laughs> you come in <laughs> and clean for Casa. Your grandmother. Your grandmother will make. Oh, your grand. Your grandmother will vex if you wear. When your grandmother say pig be hole in her shoes, she say where that shoes come out. Hey, granny, I was. Taking up fire on the road, <laughs> boy. All you special, boy. So yes, guys, it was actually his shoes that was there. His shoes, maybe the fire that catch that, and it looking like it's probably a, a plastic, you know, a plastic shoes that there, brothers and sisters. Oh, I don't think it's the fire that do that, no, boy. That 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 looking like it's a big rat that bite that there for real, brothers. That is probably a rat bite that there, and then maybe the fire was used to cover the whole thing up. But uncle coming on road with no proper shoes and coming and boy, and he <laughs> for the tickets when he noticed when they film him, he be moving his foot. <laughs> all you will quiver me today, we. <laughs> all you all you notice that the boy, all you notice that the the man tried to buy his shoes, we boy. Boy, all you do is he. That's how we need to help Mr. Out, man. We need to help Mr. Out, brothers and sisters. I think 
there's a vital need you know sometimes we laugh and kicks off on people but we don't understand the struggle but then again we always say by police officers by police officers have good good um, um what they call that again benefits and what have you and they're getting good salaries so that's why they stand with the government and everything and that's not that always the case number i mean it is very clear to see it's very very clear to see that uncle uncle shoes was manifesting on greatness right there that was a shoes that was trying to figure out at what point in time does it give up brothers and sisters according to would i say that no i think not the professor yes the professor he says the a good dancer knows when to leave the stage i think th th this guy probably didn't know when to let go the shoes because they say the shoes you know label <laughs> <laughs> brothers and sisters forgive me but i think we need to help the uncle right there i think we definitely did no not everybody you know is is in well then again as i remember the whole benefit situation apparently i actually remember doing a reaction where it is it has been alleged that the police has not gotten you know health insurance and a number of things so what if mr two had catch fire now huh so what if your foot had catch fire after you decide you brush in the fire from the from the road huh but yourself, but like, you are God's boy. You are God's <laughs> yourself. What if your toe had catch fire, huh? And you get second and third degree burns on your toe. Because mm -hmm. you know, wearing proper gears. Well, then again, they probably don't have money to buy proper gears. So all that is a struggle right there. And you come in to, to try to diminish the people's ability for the right to protest. When they say, no, we don't have no school to build on our playing field because that's the only place that we have to do recreation and to play sports and to practice on one of you. And the government tell them, that play what you said, I bring in it. Now, brothers and sisters, as I think in there, a number of persons have been trying, I've been hearing that the, the Kalibishi people are blaming the Chinese. Keep in mind, brothers and sisters, just like we're looking at dumb leg for the situation, dumb leg take lights and all this kind of thing, you have to look at the root. The Chinese is not the problem, brothers and sisters. The Chinese are only there as a result of what the government has caused them to be or cause them to do the reason why the chinese are there is because the government has allowed them to be there on a basis of making some sort of school so don't be vexed with the chinese when the government of dominica is the one responsible sometimes it is our own people who don't re who refuse to listen to us our own people who refuse to listen to just like the police officer with his toe his toeless brothers and sisters just like the police officer with toeless he refused to do and listen to the people. He just went to come and say, you know what? Let me clear the road and whatnot. This is a protest. So he come to do what now? Bring in rifle. Somebody says the M16 not there. Yeah, I agree. That is definitely M16. I'm um, um, thing. But you coming to do what to the people? What? After all, you take the life of Ken. Or you can just come there. Gasa, you better be careful. Eh? One day, the people might just wake up and say enough. It's enough. How much police officers are there? Like 500? 500 versus 50,000 people. That can be a, a headache, you know. That can be a definitely... You see what happened in Haiti? You see what the, the, the Prime Minister, President, whatever that there, Av Av Avriel, whatever is his name, he resigned. He go and sign thing in Kenya to try to bring military from Kenya to, to Haiti to solve the problems and the people in Haiti. Say, not today, you don't never come back here. The man was in Puerto Rico flying, coming over to Haiti, and because then people take over the airport in Haiti, you know. Checking, not today, but of course, we know the, 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 the and um, he's, not the, he's uh, not the prime minister, he's the interim. He's the one that's holding the position as a result of the, the passing of the previous one. Well, the, the passing, they, 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 they took his life. And he came back pretending, and for so long, since 2021, we, the man holding on. And the people are fed up. I think Carrie Comos on the indications that stated that, hey, the fact that you are there, of course, is backed by the United States. And of course, you know, United States is pimping Haiti. Of course, let me leave that part, Deborah and sisters, for those of you who know, you know, who you don't know, if you don't know well, say la vie. But on the basis of this whole thing, 2021, the man took, took over, and the man apparently don't want to let go the power. You're not the president, you're the prime minister, you're the placeholder. Who put you there in the first place? Of course, backed by the United States. And of course, they just pimp in Haiti, black is white, and this kind of thing. So anyways, the people get fed up. And they tell him not to come back on his way back. They went into the air international airport in Haiti where he was going to flo be flown, flown, back, flown back into Haiti. And he couldn't go back, brothers and sisters. He had to be flown back, get stuck in Puerto Rico, I believe it is. 
So we have to understand that the people can only take so much of abuse. And it's vital that you do not do that to the people, especially trying to anger the people. I think the great book states this. Provoke not the people to wrath, brothers and sisters. I think they look used to them to wrath or what have you. But apparently that one wasn't provoked yet, you know, because his shoes almost finished under his foot. They talk about his soul, their shoes, hallelujah. Two less. One time, brothers and sisters. But of course, we have to help you now, brothers and sisters. If you can get a little shoes like that, I mean, it's too less. He's already there. So might as well hook him up with a toilet or something, brothers and sisters. We can never, might as well give him the, the shoes because apparently he, 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 his small shoes he want to wear. His small shoes uncle want to wear. <laughs> Boy, Gasa, give somebody buy. <laughs> what I send me this picture? <laughs> no, boy. Oh, you give, send him one of them shoes, please. Uh, ask for that. That can walk the road to Damascus. Yes, man. That is Jesus sandals. Jesus walk. That can make you walk on water. Brothers and sisters, if you had that shoes there, if you give Uncle Man that shoes there, no fire can touch him. None. <laughs> brothers and sisters, hallelujah. <laughs> and then, brothers and sisters, just kicks in the vibrations, but provoke not the people. All this was not necessary. You come in there with ammunition, and then look at what he even cut twice. Look at look at the eyes. Look at him cut his eyes, eh, brothers and sisters. We would like to know what is going on based on all the point of view. <laughs> Boy, if cut eyes could cut, it would have cut everybody. May I say would have cut it too, brothers and sisters? But brothers, you, the kind of shoes you have on your foot there, you are no liberty to be giving people cut eyes, no. You had no liberty to be giving people cut eyes in no capacity whatsoever. And you cacking up your mouth as if you vex the people in the community. <laughs> Gasa, boy, Mr. Cut Eyes on the people there, boy. Boy. <laughs> the boy. <laughs> Gasa, thank God for the meeting. At least there's some sort of progress that will be happening as a result of this. And this is why this meeting is vital right there to rectify every situation i don't understand how the prime minister had not reached yet to help solve these issues the people have been take prime minister come and we do not need the the present thing that you're giving us we don't want it that's what the people say they do not want it you need to go back to the drawing board go back to the drawing board and give the people the adequate school that they need 40 students that they they don't need a, a palace there the palace, brothers and sisters. So, anyways, I had to definitely put this out there. Kalibishi School Grounds, 10 a.m. Wednesday. Uh, emergency meeting will be called, and of course, meeting with the Prime Minister. So, everybody who has the concern, especially my partner, you also need to be there. You two of well, I don't know what this one, but you need to be there and tell them to give you new shoes, please. You need to tell them that because you burn your grandmother's slippers, your grandmother's shoes. Okay, so tell them to give you a new shoe. <laughs> they say the shoes working. That, ha, huh, that is the only AM to PM that working, brothers and sisters. That is the only AM to PM that working, brothers and sisters. So remember, it's AM, 10 AM on Wednesday. Emergency meeting will be called. And of course, hopefully, everybody does turn out and give their views and tell them go back to the join board. We need our playing field. Hopefully, everything gets rectified. And of course, the people can move forward in that regard right there. But I think the total disrespect should not be forgotten. Because if you, they will do it again. You guys, they came and bring the same thing that they brought five years ago. They came and bring it again. And then they bring it two years later. The same thing. After you tell them no, they come back and China is already ready to break wrong. Digging hole on those people park to break foot when they're playing football. What is this? Brothers and sisters, just keep all this in, in mind right there anyways guys this is pretty much all about for this year mr licks reacts and like i said before i'm not gonna be dropping another one on the brbp tv youtube platform today but of course guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up click that like button <laughs> and of course subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get all the videos as it end the conference about mr licks once again guys be real salute the king be positive